The Splatling is one of the best weapon classes in Splatoon 2. From the Nautilus to whatever this thing is. No seriously, but how can it change range automatically? Anyway, in this video, I'll be reviewing every single Splatling. The mini Splatlings won't be in this video because I don't have them all. I mean, um, because I consider the mini Splatlings to be their own mini weapon class. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there? I know I'm not funny. First up, we have the Heavy Splatling. The Heavy Splatling is a pretty good Splatling to start with overall. With its range and an okay charge of speed, it's pretty balanced. It isn't too bad and it isn't too good either. It's just basic. The Heavy Splatling has Sprinkler, which is good to get some extra turf and the Stingray. Now we have the Heavy Splatling Deco. Still keeping the balancing with the first Splatling, only the design and kit is different. The heavy Splatling has splash walls which can defend you if you're in a pinch. Or you can just trap your enemies with them, or you can use them as heroes to put your enemies through. I don't really care. The heavy Splatling Deco also has bubbles, and I think you already know how I feel about bubbles already. Why won't you just pop the bubbles? It's not that hard! Now we have by far the best Heavy Splatling, the Heavy Splatling Remix. This weapon has the only thing that matters about this weapon, Booyah Bomb, and that's the only thing going good for this weapon. Oh yeah, did I mention this weapon also has Point Sensor? Okay, next Splatling. Now it's time for possibly the most overpowered Splatling in this game, the Ball Point. This Splatling isn't only long range, it can also move to short range in literally 2 seconds. This is one of the more popular Splatlings with Nautilus being in a close second. The Ball Point Splatling has Toxic Mist, which can easily trap opponents and slow them down so you can outrange them. And Ink Shell, which is good to use if you're about to die. If they don't kill you before you can do it. Now we have the Ball Point Naval. Naval? Naval? Yeah, Naval. Anyway, this is just the Ball Point with a different kit being the Beacons, which is useless unless you're playing Clan Blitz. But come on, who likes Solo Q Clan Blitz? Anyway, this weapon also has Ink Storm, which is also useless, but that's useless in the Beacon because you know you can actually kill people with it. Now we're in the Nautilus area. Happy now, Spiral? Anyway, this weapon can hold. He has hold its charge like it's a charger. Which is why I named it the second most popular weapon compared to the ball point, which is just straight up OP. Anyway, this weapon has useless sensors, I mean point sensors and baller. This weapon is sort of balanced as it doesn't have too much range, but the charge also makes it almost equivalent to the ball point, since they both have gimmicks that are pretty useful when you're in a pinch. Now we have the better Nautilus, I mean, um, the Nautilus 79. The Nautilus 79 has Suction Bomb, which does 200 damage according to the testing range, and Inkjet. This one is basically a clone of the last one, but better. Now we have both of the Hydras. You know what? Let's just let Neon review these. So, the Hydra Spiling. This weapon is known for ridiculous range and killing power. Although, let's just say you're having a bad day, yeah? Well, don't worry. This weapon is ridiculous. Have you ever seen top tier players use it? They constantly get wins, and there's nothing your enemies can do about it. This weapon is a beast, and it's one of the best weapons out there. But something seems off. Alright, this weapon is freaking awful! I swear to god, no matter where I go, I can never escape it. Constantly killing me. There's nothing I can do. Hell, if you use the weapon, you can't even get a full kill with Splashdown. It's ridiculous! And don't tell me the custom one is any better. You're just so slow! It's no fun! You're literally dragging behind to try and win! You can't do anything! This weapon deserves to burn in hell! Oh my god! <laughs> what am I doing? And that's another weapon class done. What weapon class do you want to see next? Also, what's your favorite spotlight? If it's V-Hydra, I swear I'll. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for more reviews like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys! 死んだよ。